Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to see about day 0, day 1 and day 2 operations and uh, basics of those and how a solution architect or cloud architect can get involved in these activities and what are their roles and responsibilities. Alright, okay. Uh, so when you plan for a trip, what do you do? You talk to your family members and uh, decide like where do you want to go, how do you want to go, how many places you want to go and uh, whether it is a um, road trip or a flight trip, then you plan to book a hotel. All those activities are called day zero activities. Okay. So when it comes to IT organization or enterprise, what exactly you do? You once the business use cases is defined, and uh, you talk to the peer groups and uh, the uh, if it is an enterprise, the business team and data team, application team, testing team. All those teams uh, must be um, involved to discuss about the project planning, project implementation, right? And what kind of tools that you must be using, whether you must uh, go with a particular uh, technology, whether your resources are having those skill set, all those uh, planning activities you do, right? So this is called day zero operations, okay? And uh, when it comes to trip again, what you do once after decided to go for a trip, you decided the place, then you start booking the ticket, hotel ticket. Uh, if you are going by flight, book the flight ticket. And uh, if you want to purchase something uh, for the trip, you go and do a shopping. All those activities are called day one operations or day one activities. So when it comes to IT organization or enterprise, what happens? You already decided with the business use case you want to implement as a project and you discussed with uh, multiple teams like business data application and technology teams and you verified the skill set resources availability all those steps now it's time for setting up the workspace environment and uh, if you want to uh, keep uh, testing environment uh, development environment and performance testing environment all those steps you set it up actually and you bring in the development team to start developing the code and uh, if your application needs some kind of automation like CACD pipeline all those configurations and uh, you do and once the product is developed completely and you start involving the testing team and if it is an Azure methodology you parallel involve the testing team and make sure that uh, the product is uh, developed perfectly these are all the activities that you do in the day one operations okay so when it comes to the trip again you reached the place you reached the hotel you drove uh, or, or you flew and uh, reached the hotel settled down uh, and next thing is what you would be uh, getting into the uh, actions right if you want to do some uh, adventurous activities or if you want to go and visit some uh, sceneries all those actual activities are called day two operation activities so when it comes to it organizations in our enterprise what exactly happens after day one operations day two operations begin that means like you take your developed application tested application and put it into the uh, production environment and start configuring all the monitoring tools so for example this uh, application performance monitoring tools application resource monitoring tool managed to monitor the resources like cpu memory usage all those steps application performance monitoring tool for monitoring the performance of your application whether it is um, going to survive if the customer volume increases, what next action item that you may need to do once if the application is not able to support the volume. All those activities you uh, do on your application, developed application in the production environment, right? So these activities are called day two activities or day two operations. So as a solution architect or cloud architect, what you do? If this application is being developed in the on-premises environment, you still uh, play a solution architect role to start working from the peer team like um, business data application and technology team and uh, you make the technology decisions, right? When to um, use what component, you uh, give the architecture of the uh, project and you work with the technology architect to plan the software and hardware components all those activities you do and get involved in the day zero operations right and uh, once the planning is done environment is decided um, the development will start working on the application code and there also your part is very important uh, you keep reviewing the 
have developed code and provide the suggestions whether the application is uh, fulfilling the non-functional requirements, if there are any performance issues, how the application is going to handle and you travel from day zero operations to day one operations with different group now. Um, and uh, your uh, responsibility is continued uh, in the day one operations too. And uh, once the uh, testing is done and uh, if the product was developed based on your architecture and you validate it, make sure that all the non-functional requirements and functional requirements are taken care. And uh, as a solution architect, make sure and compare with the business uh, use case and see whether uh, your, your architecture or your solution addressed the the business use case whatever the business team came up with right so all those things you make sure in the day one operations and uh, certify that this code was developed based on the solution architecture provided by you right and uh, once your uh, certification is done on the application code or the product the code will move into the production environment um, so your responsibility will stop there uh, i would say no because uh, once the code is uh, moved into production, there are certain things uh, that your application must uh, uh, must handle, right? Uh, for example, if the customer volume increases suddenly, whether your application is capable enough to handle those volumes and how do you monitor those things, right? So for monitoring application performance, you may need to configure um, the application performance uh, management tools uh, the different team, the production support team will configure, but still you are uh, the point of contact from the architecture side to provide suggestion to uh, choose right tool and how to configure the monitoring tool, all those stuffs you must uh, work with the production support team. And uh, when it comes to the application resource monitoring, like um, the CPU, memory, storage, all those uh, factors need to be monitored too for that there are uh, tools like uh, application resource monitoring tools right so those tools also you must suggest and provide your input uh, how to uh, configure what factor to monitor all those things and um, so what happens um, the day zero day one and day two operations throughout the uh, phases you are as a solution architect getting involved and uh, giving your input make sure that uh, the project is getting delivered properly right so you are not getting the taking the responsibility of delivering the project but your input is valid and key in each phases day zero day one and day two phases okay and um, i will provide a couple of tools link and what kind of tools must be used um, in the non-production environment or production environment so that you can uh, suggest this uh, to your um, team so i hope this video is useful to you and if it is the useful just share it to your friends too so that they can also get benefit out of it take care bye